So Celeb Secrets is here hanging out with Hannah Ellis and I wanted to just jump right into it. You have a brand new song dropping tomorrow, which is so, so, so exciting. So can you talk a little bit about the track and the meaning behind it? So, you know, I was actually walking into a co-write and my little sister called me and her boyfriend of two years had broken up with her like that morning. So she's just like, you know, hysterical and having a moment. Um, and I talk, kind of talk to her and I walk into the room and, you know, I really wanted to write a song that was like, this guy's a loser and we didn't like him anyways. Um, but that's like not helpful. And so instead, I, I my co-writers and I, we kind of put ourselves in her shoes and remembered walking through those journeys on our own. And, you know, truth and logic is not exactly what you want to hear when you're going through those moments. And so that's the perspective we took. Someone else's heartbreak. It'd be easy to say all these good and pretty words if it were someone else's heartbreak, but it's yours and, and it just feels different. I absolutely love that story. What does your sister think of it? You know, it's so funny because when I initially wrote it, she couldn't listen to it. She was like, it was too much. Um, but now a couple of years later, she's actually engaged to someone else who's really wonderful. Um, and she loves the song. As mentioned, someone else's heartbreak comes out tomorrow and everyone is super super excited but for you what does your typical release day routine look like are you refreshing all day do you kind of put it out and step away i mean it, there's definitely a lot of like sharing resharing different people that have shared it and and that kind of thing which is always exciting and i've been so blessed with just like people being so supportive through the years when I release music. Um, so there's a lot of that. And then usually by that night, I'm like, all right, we got to go get some wine. We got to celebrate. We did it. Because <laughs> so much work goes in to just releasing one song. So like definitely celebrating with the people that helped make it happen. Someone else's heartbreak is very real, very honest. How do you kind of channel that vulnerability and that ability to be open in your music? The reason I love being a musician is because I was so drawn to music that spoke for me, that, that I could listen to and that I could be like, oh my gosh, saying, thank you so much for saying that. I couldn't figure out how to say it. And so that's what I see my abilities as a songwriter and an artist as going, hey, I've been through this. The odds are high that you've been through something similar. I just think music is something that makes us feel less alone. And if I can do that by being honest and getting in my feelings, um, then that's that's the goal. Could you walk me through what a typical songwriting session looks like for you? You know, it's really interesting because it's a job like anyone else's job. You know, we go into the ride at like 10, 1030 um, and you kind of throw around ideas or you come in with one like that day where I was walking in the door and I was like, guys, we have to write this, you know, and then you kind of just like work hard on it for the next four to five hours and sometimes you finish something and sometimes you come back and work on it on another day but a lot of times in Nashville you do finish the song in a day which is really crazy to think about. Now we've talked about collaborating when it comes to writing and production but we haven't talked about collaborating when it comes to the music itself so if you had to pick a dream collaboration who would it be oh gosh you know i think the first ones that come to mind are like russell dickerson or carly pierce because those are just great friends and champions of mine and so like it would be so like sweet and full circle to be able to like collaborate on a song with them just because it would be so fun <laughs> you know now is someone else's heartbreak a part of maybe a bigger project in the works. What can you tease to us? You know, last year was kind of a hunker down and work and write and record. And this year it is time to release music. And I'm so excited because we have a lot more songs coming and an album coming later this year. I know you don't want to give away too much, but can you tease maybe when we can expect to hear the album, beginning, middle, end of 2023? What can you tell us? So we're, we're hoping for what we call third quarter. So like somewhere in the like late summer, early fall. That's, you know, prayers up. So 2022 is the year for recording music. 2023 is the year for releasing music. But do you have maybe any other goals for 2023? We have a couple really fun possible tours that we're working on and just getting out and playing the music as much as possible leading up to the record coming out. Now, can you walk me through a Hannah Ellis show? If fans were to catch you on the road, what can they expect to see? I love to have a good time. I, I think 
that when you go to a concert, you're meant to be there and have fun with your friends. My assumption is you're probably there with your friends or someone you love. And so I just like have a great time on stage. And of course we have our little somber moments with a song like Someone Else's Heartbreak. But one of the songs I cover in my sets is No Diggity because I'm like, don't let's not take ourselves too serious here. We're having a good time. As we know, No Diggity is not country and genre bending is getting super, super popular. What do you think about the lines sort of starting to cross when it comes to different genres of music? Yeah, I think good music is just good music. And if it moves you, it moves you. You know, I am country to the bone. It is like what I'm passionate about. It's the radio stations I want to be played on. But I think whenever we're talking about a show and a live show, like we all love all kinds of music. And I think bringing that into those moments just creates such a fun memory. Now, lastly, Hannah, we are celeb secrets. So do you have any secrets either about yourself or your music that fans really wouldn't expect from either hearing your songs or seeing you on social media? Oh gosh, um, if you follow me on social media, you know I don't have very many secrets at all because I am just an open book. <laughs> um, but I would definitely say that there's some, some songs on the record that are even more vulnerable than the stuff I've already put out. And, and I think that people will see a new side of me when they hear it. So I'm really, I'm really excited about that.